Day two. What do you think? Day two. Day two. What do I think of what? Thoughts. Um, three things. First thing, homeless people, great. I think that's because once you have nothing, you get closer to God. Because you don't have anything in the way except for, unless you have any addictions, which probably all of them have. So that's like one step away from God. One step, that's all. Because the rest of it, they don't have anything. So you can't be fed up, you can't have idols if you don't have anything to make an idol of. Good point to know. Two th second thing. Small as the computer, the cooler it is. Doesn't even have to have a disk drive. That's how the future is. Small electronics are just cooler. If I could get something the size of a toothpick that can feed my dog, I'd buy it. Third thing. The stairs are always faster than the elevator is. I don't care who you are. We proved that several times this evening. Oh, fourth thing, and there's a lizard upstairs. His name is Handsome Larry. Sorry, Handsome Larry. I had to think about it for a second. He's handsome, and he's Larry. He's our mascot, and we're going to catch him <laughs> by day three. Mark my words. <laughs> Any more questions? What's one day? What's one way you saw God today? Definitely the homeless people question that I answered earlier that you didn't ask. <laughs> um, I think they impressed the most about me because I wish I could live like that. Actually, I think I probably could. I just don't know if the people around me could stand it. So <laughs> that's the difference. But what about the street fair? Street fair, always wear your wallet in the front pocket. That translates to push money where your mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see all the cultures, but now I'm an ICS major, so that's what I do anyway. So, What is one thing you would have done differently? Oh, today? Talk to the Jewish guy. That was one thing I would have done different. Chuck the Jewish guy? Chuck the Jewish guy. I would talk to Chuck the Jewish guy. Um, second thing is I would have talked to Sandra on the phone earlier. Then I could talk longer and I wouldn't be tired for a bit. Third thing I would have done better is read through the book of First Kings because I didn't really get any other reading. I just got it my own. Psalms and Proverbs reading, and I kind of want to read some of Kings. And that's about it. Okay, last question. Arminianism or Calvinism? Neither Darwinism, duh. <laughs> Actually, that has nothing to do with it. I would say, I'm going to make my own up, uh, Wilson Wilsonism. That's where you ride the fence, nice and steady. Because both sides are practical. <laughs> And don't tell me you can't, you, you can disprove that both sides are practical, because that's not true, everyone knows that. Day three, here we come. Thank you.